Well, I'd just like to thank the chief for uh, doing that great work. And uh, it, it highlights um, not only, the, it, I think it personalizes the whole concept of smart cities and, and the importance of regional collaboration. The, the reality is uh, so many of these issues uh, that, that can be tackled and impacted by smart cities technologies don't respect jurisdictional boundaries. Uh, and so it takes coalition building like the chief is talking about here. Uh, in order to get real, real, uh, make a real tangible, scalable impact. Uh, that is certainly what we're working on in Colorado. The Colorado Smart Cities Alliance is a, a network of 15 cities uh, of, of all different typologies across the state of Colorado who have self-identified and, and engaged with us as the alliance uh, to, uh, to become test beds for the next generation of smart cities technologies in a public, private, and academic and research uh, collaborative, uh, again, covering the entire state of Colorado. We do believe it's the first of its kind model, um, and, and we think it's absolutely timely, the work that the, uh, the Smart Regions uh, Congress and uh, the Smart, Smart Regions Initiative are doing uh, to bring this topic to the fore, because uh, frankly, this is, uh, we're, in, we're at a fascinating time in human evolution. Uh, as any good visitor to the district, uh, I spent an hour in between meetings running through the Smithsonian as fast as I possibly could to see as much as I could. Uh, I saw a great uh, display of human evolution. And you look back in over millions of years of human development, only in the last five to 10 years do we have the ability to listen to the built environment the same way that we would listen to the human body or natural systems. And what we're hearing are a, a set of problems that can't be solved by any one city, any one company, uh, any one academic institution. It requires that type of cross uh, sector collaboration to really make that scalable impact. Uh, we are proud to say that in just one year's time, we have recruited those 15 cities, uh, ranging from you know the city and county of Denver and Boulder, uh, Fort Collins, places where you would expect to see innovations taking place around smart cities. And we're also pleasantly surprised that smaller towns like Grand Junction on the Western Slope or um, you know, any number of, of the, the smaller satellite communities across the state are all engaged in developing a framework uh, to engage with smart cities technologies to improve the quality of life and improve opportunity and improve equity for people in their communities. Uh, we have the, also the great benefit of, of working with one of the, the most impactful companies, I think, uh, that over the next five to 10 years in smart cities, Aero Electronics, uh, as our, our lead academic partner. Uh, Aero has been a, a huge champion for us in our efforts to, to coalesce the statewide co coalition. And because they've had a 100-year uh, legacy of being a, a, supply, a technology supply chain company, they've got a, a global network of 125,000 technology providers uh, that we can access through our partnership with them. We are currently involved in doing deep dive discovery with each of those 15 cities and aggregating that insight into the problems that they're trying to solve. We're seeing many of the same uh, the same common challenges that, that you've heard talked about here today, transportation and mobility, resource efficiency and conservation, uh, you know, uh, housing and affordability, public health, public safety. Um, these are very common topics, but they're very complex. And, um, and our cities each experience them in different ways. But we think that the unique value that we provide as an alliance and as a regional collaboration is the aggregation of that insight over multiple typologies of cities in one place. And we, as an organization, are, are looking forward to this year then taking that insight and now implementing that into kind of a two-pronged approach, one on, on policy recommendations and frameworks for those cities to be able to adapt more quickly and uh, uh, um, 
enhance the uh, somewhat problematic procurement process of cities that uh, has a tendency to slow down innovation. Um, and we're particularly interested to work with uh, our partners here today on uh, making sure that the standards that are being developed at the national level are in alignment with what works on the ground from a policy perspective. And then the second track of our work will be piloting and deployment. We've got a number of great pilot and uh, pilot and implementation programs already underway. Um, two of the first public-private partnerships with uh, ride-hailing apps have occurred within the cities in our alliance. Many of you are probably aware of the city of Denver's work with Panasonic uh, around Pena Station, uh, a new greenfield development, which has a whole host of smart cities applications. Uh, we're also working with our Colorado Department of Transportation uh, on a number of uh, issues around autonomy and, and vehicle to infrastructure technology, just to mention a few. But what we look to do over the next uh, six to 12 months is to take that aggregated insight and find that commonality and create a city, multiple city scale, living laboratory and test bed to demonstrate, to, to co-create with these public, private, and academic partners uh, the next generation of technologies that are gonna solve some of these big, complicated issues. And, and we're doing that in, in conjunction with the University of Colorado system, the Colorado State University, the University of Denver, and also a, a number of federally funded research labs in Colorado, including the National Renewable Energies Lab and uh, the, the National Center for Atmospheric Research up in Boulder. So uh, I, we believe that the model that we're building could become a national model or could, become, could uh, uh, inform or influence a national model. And uh, we are eager to partner with you all here today. And, and if you're a company looking to demonstrate Colorado is open for business. If you're a national re uh, research lab or an institution that's doing research and development and, seek and are seeking proof of concept, we're open for business and uh, we hope you'll join us. Uh, and again, a uh, pleasure to be here today and thank you so much for the opportunity.